Aloha Capricorn, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your reading for July 2020. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Um, before we get started, please do like, subscribe, right underneath, hit the bell button. Um, all of those things when you comment, that all helps my channel um, so that I can keep bringing you um, videos and I try to do one or two a week um, so that you can stay connected. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at The Whispering Dragonfly. Um, I do a rune of the day on IGTV, okay? So, here we go for Capricorn, July 2020. Here we go, Keepers of the Light. Okay, Capricorn, we got Diana, Focused Intention. All right, so this is Think About What You Desire. Set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. So Capricorn, this is saying month of July, expect the best, okay? Really focus your energy, focus on what you want, the best out possible outcome. I know Capricorn, sometimes we can get to where we're a little like negative Nancy or focused on what might not work. Instead, let's focus this month of July, Spirit saying focus on what can work. Okay, we got the vowel, okay, and we got the stone for the archetypes. So the vowel, our soul contracts, um, what we have contracts to do with others, okay, with ourselves. And the stone, I'm interested in this, I don't know this one, so let's see. What the, um, I want to this is a new deck for me so I want to make sure I tell you the right thing okay the stone is the eternal the anchor the rock as an archetypal object the stone holds psychic and literal weight its energy is one of permanence concreteness and reliability the stone's ability to transform is nearly imperceptible to us as it changes ever so slowly over countless human lifespans a single stone may see thousands of generations come and go Therefore, it contains an ancient and eternal presence. The stone is best used to anchor our wild side, so no matter how far we roam, we can always find our way back. The stone tethers us to earth, helping to ground and connect us to stillness, quiet, and peace. When this card appears, it is likely the stone is a remedy for what ails us. Humble and easily unnoticed, the power of the stone balances the frenzy of our world. Okay, wonderful. And then let me just see... What? There we go. The vow says. So the vow is the promise, the oath, and the contract. Okay. So this is saying focus your intention. I would say, Capricorn, that um, the vow part of it is our contract. So we be very careful with what you speak, what promises you make in this time frame. Oops, let me do it this way because I'm not seeing the other one. There we go. Okay, so the vow here is really saying, okay, pay attention to your contracts. The other thing too, um, I believe last month was karma releasing. So as that's released, be careful what contracts that you enter into now, okay? This is also saying, the stone saying, not only have you been around, like your energy Capricorn has highly psychic, highly spiritual, you've been around for lifetimes, so listen to the stone, the part inside of you that knows how to ground, that's been here for eons as you're focusing your, your intention, okay? Because your psychic sense is heightened this month and the contracts that you enter into, um, you know, have the potential to be long-term um, this month. So be careful what you enter into. Okay, I'm getting all sorts of cool things. Okay, She of the Lotus, which is number 43. Okay, here. Sorry guys, I haven't seen this one yet. Okay, so it's shadow work, addressing dissonance, seeing downfalls as the flip side of super powers, loving yourself back to wholeness, the beautiful Lotus that grows from murky waters, disempowering triggers, bringing light into the dark corners, okay? 
So perfect. You're focused intention this month. You're bringing light into the dark corners of your soul. Okay. Paying attention to what vows and contracts. Um, I have that Akashic records and the cord cutting um, guided meditations that I did for you guys. Those tools are for free. So feel free to look at them and use, um, use those this month so that you can really focus on what you want and really ground that in. Okay, because Capricorn, you're about to, you've been doing a lot of soul work and it's the eclipses and retrogrades and those things are coming through to um, really help you start this new life, okay? But you've got to shed light onto those dark corners. And the cool thing is the archetypes that are with you are the ones that have been around forever. Yeah, again, five of swords. So you've been in your mind about something and it's time for change and you're over it. You're over the conflict. You're ready to break free. Okay, so focus your intention on, oh, that's way too many. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, the one that flipped over here is strength. Okay, so focus your intention on what you really want. You have the strength. You're powerful. And you have the strength to see your dark corners, okay? Because you're coming through it. And you're making a new vow to yourself, okay? You're grounding in those psychic things. You're trusting your intuition, that part of you that's been here forever, Capricorn. I think sometimes your um, trust has been too much on what you can do out there in the world. And many of us have lost jobs and things because of the, the COVID situation. So how you've had to relate with the world has had to change Capricorn. And so um, you have the strength to see your dark corners. You really do. Okay, let's get a little more clarity on this story here. Okay, next. Yep, death and rebirth. Okay, so you've been going through this death and rebirth now that that's the past you've already gone through this rebirth and as you're um now in the beginning stages like it's like the infant stage you have the strength to grow so you're really going to focus on the best possible outcome and it's the wheel the wheel of fortune is here to support you okay i need to move this whole doodad over there <laughs> so the wheel of fortune is here to support you okay we may not know how things are going to go, but if you focus your intention where attention goes, energy flows, okay? You have the Empress. Every, oops, Empress. Everything you need is inside of you, okay? Everything that you need is inside you, okay? So um, those old ways are gone. You're really focusing your intention. All of your needs are going to be met. You have that, that womb of creativity. You have all of the answers. Look at how powerful this person is. Like you don't have to be um, female, but this divine feminine is really coming into balance and really being empowered in the month of July. Okay. Yeah. And five of pentacles, like there's a change in how you're going to be doing your money. Um, ask for help, okay? Ask for help, Capricorn. It's like um, there's a renewal that's happening and a change that's happening. But how what, how that happens is you really have to ask for help. You know, put your pride down um, because all of your needs are going to be met. But people have to know that you need something, and you have justice, okay? So this old way, the things that that you had to put death to, you're going to get justice for that past hurt and what caused you conflict in your mind, that justice is coming. So really focus on your highest outcome, okay? Yeah, King of Cups. So with the Empress, you have the King of Cups. So, you know, this is that mastery of love, the divine love, the Father card, okay? Um, this could also be if you're female or single, this is um, you know, possibly a mate coming in that's going to, to help you and please you. Like, so look at, that's going to be completely different than this past situation. Um, the other thing is, is it can be, um, father healing. This could be, 
you being balanced, divine feminine and the divine masculine, being at mastery, okay? And that comes from shining light on your dark corners because you have a really good life coming in for you. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So you're at the beginning of knowledge. There's a fire and creativity that is um, bringing itself to the forefront. So you really focus on that. And the vows that you make moving forward, these are, um, you know, you'll really contemplate them first um, because there's power in your words. There's power in what you create right now, okay? And so, um, so you have this beautiful energy coming through. You have fire, you have water. Yeah, yeah this is exciting. Okay, how can they work their light, Capricorn? Unbound. Okay, so Capricorn, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Okay, so you are unbound. This month of July is the um, completion of the releasing. You've been in a few month um, healing of releasing contracts and past lives, and that's absolutely happening now. Okay, that's the dark corners. You're releasing the dark corners. Here we have this brand new energy releasing the dark corners so that you are in your own power, that the vows that you make are aligned with your soul contract, your personal contract, and that you're moving forward into the grace of your own being. And um, you may have a relationship that comes in for you if you're single, um, or this could be just the um, the balance of the divine masculine and feminine, but you are going to get justice for this that hurt you over here. Um, and part of that justice is that death and rebirth as you are releasing that contract. Wheel of Fortune's on your side, Capricorn, so it's bright days to come. Um, so pay attention in July, just focus on, no matter what comes your way, focus on your highest intention, the things that bring you the most joy, okay? Um, I really appreciate you. These are your messages from Spirit Capricorn for the month of July 2020. Um, please do like, share, comment. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And until next time, aloha.